Good morning. My name is Rob Voorhees. I work for Hosokal and Micron Powder Systems, and we're located in Summit, New Jersey. Today, I'd like to introduce you to a new mill, the UMP, the micro UMP. Um, here, you see a micro UMPB, a small pilot scale unit. We have a total of five mills in this series, from a small LPM2 to the largest UMP3, which is has 40 horsepower and can handle several thousand pounds an hour of capacity. The mill uh, was designed to service all industries, but it's primarily designed to meet the requirements of the food and pharmaceutical industry. I'm going to basically go through the UMPB and what you see here in front of you. This particular model is totally integrated system. It comes with the mill that you see here as well as an integrated feeder, product collection chamber, air relief system, and control panel. The controls provide the capability to meter the feed into the mill and also control the speed of the mill to control final particle size. I'm going to open the mill and show you the design um, and some of the different grinding elements that are available with this type of machine. Before we do that, I'd like to remind you that please follow all lockout and tagout procedures per your plant requirements. And also, please remember to wear safety glasses. Let me open the mill now and show you a little bit more in detail. You can see here that the mill is supplied with a tri-clamp connection, which makes it very easy to open. The door itself is an ar on an articulated hinge which holds it in place and makes it easy to locate. Inside, we have an LFS rotor. This is setup is for high speed hammer milling and it includes the rotor itself and multiple deflector liner and screen insert to control top size. One of the unique features of this mill is that we can change these grinding elements to produce different types of grinds. Let me remove this rotor and show you some of the other grinding elements that are available. The central lock nut has been already loosened, and so I'll take this off. And you can then see how easily the rotor assembly is removed from the machine. And here you get a better view of the LFS hammers that are part of this rotor assembly. Also as part of this is a perforated screen which controls particle top size and these come in different configurations for different applications. With a special tool we can remove the multiple deflector liner easily from the grinding chamber. and also the screen support structure. You can see from the internals that it's a very cleanly designed mill with very little uh, internal surfaces which make it very easy to clean. And it comes in fabricated stainless steel and is available in a variety of finishes. We have two other types of grinding elements that are available for this machine. This is the uh, pin rotor, and the pin rotor is typically operated at very high speeds and can produce ultra-fine grinds of a D97 minus uh, 35 microns. We can also provide a knife rotor, as you see here. The knife rotor is for producing coarse or granular grinds. It's configured with two knife edges, one a sharp edge for imparting shear forces, and one a flat edge for imparting more high impact forces. The knife rotor can be easily installed by sliding it over the shaft and then securing the nut, same nut that was used for securing the LFS rotor. Once it's in place, it can be tightened with a wrench to the proper specifications. Cover can be closed and you're ready to begin processing again. I hope you enjoyed our short introduction today, and I hope you take the opportunity to visit us at Summit and try the mill out for yourself. Thank you.